What's good YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island 5. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing alright. Today we are back with another reaction video. Today we have... Uh, hold on. I need a moment. This is something personal. Alright. We have ASAP Rocky answering 18 questions from the one and only... Bajariri! GQ edition, Rihanna. Oh man, this girl's so fun. Oh, no, 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 this lady. Rihanna's fine as hell. Boy, I love him. Boy. Say, tell you, Caribbean women. <sighs> Beautiful. It's a gift from God. Yeah, I'll put you guys in the news and channel. Smash the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below in the comment section. Anything you want me to react to, let me know and I'll try my best to get on it. With that being said, let's get into this. Oh, my baby, she just looks so cute. Man, yo, look at her. Hold on. What is your skin? Look, 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 look at her. She knows she got it. Tight. What's my skin tight? Hey, stop rocking my boy. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, you know that was this corny. Is Vienna, and I'm going face to face. ASAP Rocky. Alright, ring 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 ring. What's up, Riri? <laughs> What's up, Rocky? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm chilling. So I need Go. to ask you the same stuff. We only got a forehead though. <laughs> That's my baby, but she got a forehead. It's your favorite this one. I just wanted to say the same thing. It means so much in four letters. Yeah. But it's also it can mean like really it can be, No, but it can mean like like, you know, I just like drop my you know my glass of juice or like Yeah, it can mean that. It could also mean that. True, but I like better. Like like Uh like, yes. A food I try to stop cursing. Y'all see hey, y'all see me on this channel trying to stop cursing. I do a terrible job at it. And I ain't gonna lie, my favorite, my favorite curse word as well is the F word. I mean, I mean, you can't. Sometimes I be like, Van Mottoff, well, I'm gonna suck your, <laughs> you know, well, I go after you. You know what I mean? I try to stop, I really am. When I stop, I try to ease up off of it on here, you know? Just, just, just want to have a better, you know? Just don't want, it's not appropriate, you know? So, I have a little people, kids watch me too, so kids, don't curse. That you would never eat under any circumstance. Shit. I Mayo. just wanted to say an intestine of any animal. Like that's just like, come on, that's no bueno. Like uh, I was to say celery, and then I was like, nah, I can get through that. My life depended on it. Animals. I don't know. They, they, they cost not a storm. <laughs> I'm with you. Unless it's good for your skin. Agree, agree. What's the hardest part about working with me? I think the hardest part about working with you is not goofing off and laughing the whole time. Like, it's, it's comedy. That's the hardest part. You know, we such people, we so cool, it's just hard not to not to laugh, that's all. But it was fun. I know. The hardest part is not having too much fun. You just forget that it's, it's still, you know, work at the end of the day. Yeah, that's a good answer. What is your self-care routine and how do you take care of yourself? Uh, my self-care routine would be showering, taking care of my skin, exfoliating, moisturizing, just cleansing myself, grooming, trimming, anytime I could. You know, it's a pandemic right now, so I've been chilling on all that, but for the most part, yeah. So, <laughs> when you discovered skincare, you were how old? Probably like... 14, 15. What's the first product you bought? Like, was it a moisturizer or like a, a face wash? Yeah, my first time really getting. I need to get on it for like real. Skin kit platform. I was like, Ooh. young. I do like a. That should be it. Don't worry. My mother had it in the drawers. So, like, like a cleanser? Yeah, it was like a cleanser. It was cool. That is it awesome. was tight. What's your last purchase on the $20? Condoms. Uh, <laughs> a t-shirt? I bought a t-shirt for like eleven dollars. It was tight. I came up on it. Yeah. Where does ASAP like, which, buy a t-shirt for, for eleven dollars? I'll take a free t-shirt. My favorite price is three ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Hey! Listen, I don't care how big, how much money I have, where I where I reach in life, I know that's knowing me. 
I can see myself wearing a t-shirt for eleven dollars, ten dollars, even five dollars. I think you get it. And if it's free, like he said, SJA price is free ninety nine. Trust me, I ain't got no shame with that. And some listen, people, designer clothes don't always make you look like you're good. Just saying, designer clothes ain't always good. What is your skin type? So do you usually get like uh, really cautious about using certain products and stuff like that when it comes to your skin since it's so sensitive? Yeah, for sure. You know, stuff that's just like too much alcohol basin or you know, like way too much chemicals, you know, that can really break you out and be even worse, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it was just like I had to discover face cleansing and skin care all at the same time. When I was a young buck in the shower. Okay, so who's like the first person that you looked up to in terms of skincare in regards to like a man? Skincare is like weird to say that about, but like who have you looked at and try to just emulate your skincare regimens personally? No man. No men, really, right? Nah, unfortunately, I ain't. I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, let me ask you something. Like, you know how we find out as we get older, like, girls love men with, like, manicures and pedicures and stuff like that. <laughs> for real, for real. Is skincare a big thing with, when it comes to women? I mean, women always love men with good skin. I mean, come on. But as much as you guys think about your your nails and your skin, we think about that, too. We, we look at that. I get a pedicure since the pandemic. Oh, I get my shit done. Their skin. Their nails because it says a, a lot about like how they'll take care of themselves and the people around them. So of course Ooh. it's a big deal for us. Man, that's what's up. I guess it does reflect a lot about your personality. Or Especially in my household, my mother, my brothers could not have their nails at a certain length. They had to be clean, they had to be short, they had to be filed. My mother was that kind of woman, so like I I think I've kind of adopted that point of view from her. <laughs> That's what's up. What was your first red carpet? Same thing. It was MTV. That's a big deal. Straight off the yeah. bat with that? Yeah, my first red carpet was MTV. I know what I had on. I can tell you what I had on. No, I don't need to hear it. It's an easy it. You could describe it as as I'm seeing it. No, no, no. It was BET. <laughs> It was BET, I think. It was the BET Awards. It wasn't. I, I see. I confused it for that year when we. Nah. It was so. It was a month before. It was BET, the first red carpet. Oh my God! Is this your first red carpet? Black, 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 black. Yeah. So I had right there the Hermes belt on. I had the wrap semi. Like, no, no, you don't have to point out Hermes. You look different. Or that. This is you. <laughs> and then I had the uh, the black skill hat on. Uh, Matt, stop trying to make it sound dope. This is you. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at that handsome fella. Yeah, that's me. Check me out. You could have used some fancy skin back then. <laughs> you don't hear that accent? You could have used some fancy skin back then. <laughs> that's my Bayesian baby boy. <laughs> I'm sick. What's your favorite offer of me? I ain't gonna lie. My favorite outfit of you, the red carpet at the British Fashion Awards earlier this year. Really? I ain't gonna lie, I like that look. Like, like ever? <laughs> like of all of my red carpets or like videos, that that? That's my that's one of my favorite looks. Damn. Yeah. What? You mean like that one? No, I love that look. I'm just like I'm shocked that that's what you would say. It's not like wrath or like rake. Nah, it was fire. High tops or low tops? It's gonna have to be high tops. High tops for me. What's your favorite show to watch on TV? I watch everything, man. That's a complex question for a complicated guy. Man. I watch everything. You know, cartoon. I like I like to watch cartoons as weird as it is. Mm. The older the better. Vintage cartoons. That's my vibe. I can binge 
why I should know this man. <laughs> What's your favorite vintage cartoons to watch? Like Popeye the Sailor Man, yeah. Scooby Doo, yeah. obviously the Jetsons, yeah. Banana Splits, yeah. until your father gets home, Daddy Boo, mm. you know, stuff like that. But we can't get the sauce away too much, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love Betty Boo. <laughs> Betty Boo, so far. She's so far. How do you stay mentally and inspirationally aligned? I think for me, I'm just more of a people person, you know? To stay mentally and inspirationally in line, I think it, it kind of takes, it starts with the mental. I think you got to be in a good mental space to even allow yourself to be inspired, you know? Because it's all about like what you said, you know? You got to allow things into your universe, your world, your space, you know? Yeah. That's kind of deep. And nah, me and you saying the same, but you know. No, that's actually better answer than my other. Can I just like, can I ever do it? Like, no. no. <laughs> yeah, man. So, like, I just try to keep the mental. Why is it like rock and roll? Yeah. So, what's your favorite product so far from the Fenty Skincare line? I'm gonna have to go with the moisturizer. This invisible moisturizer, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I love it. I ain't even gonna lie. The mechanism is crazy. It's different. And it smells good, you know? Thank you. <laughs> Put, it Put it all over your hands. You can't be having no dry hands soaking in nobody, you know what I mean? I'll be yeah. ashy in between your knuckles and all that. That ain't the vibe, bro. When it comes to skincare, what are you packing your travel bag? When it comes to skincare, I pack mostly moisturizers, a little bit of face soap. Uh, yeah, that's really it. I don't really use much toners and stuff when I'm traveling. Maybe face wipes too. I don't really take much. What do you wish more people were talking about in the beauty industry? What do I wish more people would talk about in the beauty industry? I would have to say I, w I wish that it was more versatility, diversity, obviously, you know, I think it's kind of trying to evolve, especially with a person like yourself and what you're doing. It. I keep wearing shades in the indoor, indoor, maybe the light's too bright. Amongst the beauty industry, but I do wish that there was way more, you know, versatility throughout it all, you know, I, I feel like everything is very old fashioned and kind of stuck to an old blueprint. As Tommy Bob, so does, you know, the blueprint. Honestly, thank you so much for even being a part of this conversation where we could discuss openly skincare for for men, for women, for non-binary. We just think everyone with skin deserves to have great skin and I appreciate you being a part of this conversation. So Yo, you're more than welcome. The pleasure is all mine. I wanna say thank you for you know supporting me at a time when I just came home from jail. Thank you for identifying my beauty as a man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I appreciate you. Like, like for real. Oh, uh, yeah. Me. He was in jail. Sweet man. Thanks for the opportunity. Well, shout out to GQ. Thank you so much for being involved in this conversation between Rocky and I face to face. This was tight. Thank you so much. Mwah. All right, y'all. If y'all want to see the table, sir, go to Vogue.com to see me ask Rihanna all these questions face to face. I had a catch that before y'all try to take it. Put that in my pocket. Save that for later. <laughs> but now for us, let's hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys wanna do me, if you guys wanna see me um react to the other one or the 15 questions on Vogue where Rocky asks her 15 questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll try my best to get onto it. Alright, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below. Alright, if you guys are new to the channel, anything you want me to react to, let me know and I'll try my best to get onto it. With that being said, have an amazing day. And until we meet again, remember, the world is yours. Peace.